What's up, Sim Racers? Larry TJR Sim here, and today we're going to look at ACC, a set of course of competition in 4K and VR with a new 2080 Ti Zotex gaming card. So, this is the card box. The card is actually in the PC right now. And the reason I picked this card, just real quickly, is it's uh, I want to get ready for the new headsets that were coming out and you know they are going to require more more power to push them and i found that particular one this was a gpu that uh, pushed out 1815 uh overclocked from the factory already uh, and i got it for the founder's edition card price on amazon so i'll leave a link to it on amazon for you to check out for yourself uh it's off sale right now uh, but i'm sure it'll come back on sale as they always do so that is why I got it finally because it got down low enough to where the channel could afford to buy it. So, and so then I can review more games for y'all uh, with higher resolution and give you those settings. So, if you like this type of stuff, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you will get all my latest videos. I don't produce videos every single day, uh, but I do try to do them weekly on the weekends. Uh, however, I have missed a few weekends here lately, so I apologize for that. Uh, I've been very busy with my uh, day job. So, anyway, I digress. Let's go on. Let's jump into settings so this isn't too long for you. First up, 4K settings. Um, 3840 by 2160. Full screen. That's up to you. Disabled, enabled. Uh, you can always use, you know, Alt, Enter, you know, to make it full screen. You don't have the bar on the top. Uh, resolution scale at 100%, uh, 100% now. Actually, for 4K, uh, I have run it at 150%. So I'm going to crank this on up to 150 for you. I believe 250 or 200 is the max. Uh, 150 is the sweet spot. 200, you really don't notice a big difference between 150 and 200. It's very, very marginal. Uh, and it's not really worth uh, taxing your GPU for those extra pixels. And it will tax it very hard in 4K. Uh, just to let you know, this is a 27-inch uh, LG 4K. I don't remember the model number of it that I'm testing, but uh, it's free sync. It's not G-Sync, uh, although it may be on the list for uh, uh, cross-compatibility. Uh, I don't know. I didn't look. But uh, anyway, the view distance, uh, you can run that at uh, high. Now, you see Epic come up in, in ACC. Don't run Epic. Unless you're going to do still shots, you really don't need Epic. Uh, you're not going to tell a difference uh, with your with your eye. I mean, you will in a still shot. You may see a cloud or, or, or a shadow become slightly more defined, but when you're running 60 FPS uh, on a 4K monitor, you're not going to be able to tell a difference besides that your FPS is going to drop down quite a bit uh, on Epic and a lot of these settings. So I suggest, my suggestion is high for everything. And actually, I can just sum this up really quickly. Everything on high for a 4K uh, monitor running the 2080 Ti. Uh, 4K, uh, it just runs it really well. And it's going to keep you in the 60s. Sometimes it's going to drop down to the 50 FPS, uh, which is fine. Still pretty doable. Uh, you know, unless you spent the money. Uh, I forgot the uh, uh, Asus, I think, has it out there. Or Acer. It's Acer, Acer. I get them too mixed up, but I believe it's Asus has a. Uh, a 4K 27-inch uh, monitor that runs 144 hertz. You wouldn't see 144 hertz with a 2080 Ti, anyways, uh, with this particular game. Maybe other games, but not this particular game. Uh, you know, it just doesn't happen. Actually, in this game, since it's still in beta form right now, you know, this is isn't a um, a final answer on it. I will do a video on the final. Uh, settings, but you know, this is version uh, points 0.7.2 still early access version and it's it's fairly optimized now at this point So uh, it's ready for release here pretty soon Anyway, I digress uh, view distance uh, on high like I said shadows you can run it on high anti and on high uh, effects on high uh, Post-processing on high post-processing is very taxing by the way um, but yeah, you can run it on high. Uh, if you are getting a little bit of frame drops or not quite as much, I would suggest uh, medium. Uh, medium looks really good. Uh, 
low, not quite as, 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 as rich looking on screen, but uh, medium does work really well. Um, sharpness, doesn't matter, must be broke. <laughs> I don't see a difference between 300% or 0%, so to each their own. Foliage, you know, the trees, how many trees do you want to see in the background? I keep it on low, but you can run it on high just fine. Uh, but I save a few more uh, uh, FPS and run it on low myself. That's my personal choice. But you can run with a 2080 Ti on high, no problem. Textures on high, you can run that epic even. You won't be able to tell the difference, but you could do that. Uh, frame limit, you know, it's based on your monitor. I just default to 100 because uh, that's what I was running this on 1440p as well uh, with the Predator X34. And that was 100 hertz capped anyways. Uh, view the mirror view distance 70 meters uh, it goes up to 250 70 seems to be a pretty good sweet spot there as far as um, let's say you're at Zolder and uh, you're at the back straight and uh, you just make that 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 turn uh, or let's say you're at down there at that little s turn right uh, at 70 you can see them all the way back behind you okay uh, anything below that they go away. Uh, you do see a little bit more detail when you come up to 100, uh, but 70 seems to be the sweet spot to get to where you see enough of the people behind you. And uh, uh, looks good, so yeah. Um, you know, remember the race is in front of you, not behind you, okay? Now mirror quality, uh, I had it on off, get to that later. Uh, but yeah, running on high, mirror resolutions, on, on high you can even run the mirror the top uh, overhead mirrors as well in this I did run it like that it's fine I ran it with the guy with the helmet on as well didn't seem to make a difference as far as dropping my FPS so that's good it does make a difference in VR though um, opponent visibility all motion blur disabled locked horizon that's more of a uh, motion setting for myself that has to do with my motion rig uh advance we go to advanced saturation 100 percent at sharpening filter enable materials quality on high just to let you know uh, it can go to epic as well i think medium's a little lowest yeah mediums medium is uh default uh high looks a little bit better for sure uh but you're not gonna be able to tell a huge difference however slap it on high with the 2080 ti because it's not taxing at all um you don't you don't notice it uh as far as uh, G, uh uh, frame rate dropping down uh, bloom quality. Oh, I'm sorry. These other two enabled um, I have not tested this in fog conditions though So you may have to disable that uh, I doubt it though with the 20 ATI uh, The bloom quality on high. It's not taxing at all I really don't notice the difference with it on high at nighttime with the with the lights on the side of the cars uh, I just don't see what it does so but that's fine uh, foliage, LOD, excuse me, LOD quality, that's the length of distance uh, that you see. Basically this is, uh, say you have the, the, the sun over on your, on your west of your car and, and, and you got shadows coming across uh, the track of the trees, shining through the trees, right? So um, on very low, you see an outline of the tree on the track. On high uh, or low, it gets a little better. Uh, high it, you see more of the tree on the track of course and more detailed it looks so the higher you go uh, the more detailed the shadows are going across this uh, track surfaces in this particular uh, example and, uh, and 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 more of a full detail so you're not really going to notice it that much uh, it does certainly look good on high though uh, but yeah I run very low on like VR but anyway for the 4k resolution stuff you can run high just fine but it is a little bit taxing i'll just let you know okay so that is all the 4k settings i did this video a while ago but i wanted to make it quicker than it was a while ago so going back through them quickly for you because at the end of the video i'm going to show you footage of them in 4k and also in vr vr the the part that i i think I, i'm most interested in with 2080 ti is how good it makes vr in this game uh, it actually does it pretty well. The game is very playable compared to a 1080 Ti in VR, uh, where I had a hard time getting out of 45 FPS asynchronous mode in, in this game uh, during the day. You know, it hit up the 60s sometimes, but most of the time it was around the 45, 
50 ish range uh so in and out of asynchronous mode so it was kind of unplayable for me so with 20 ati I, I even see 90 fps in some cases so which is really good but it's not locked in at 90. uh there's not this game is not optimized enough to uh, for vr even if you have the highest end graphics card on the market right now which is the 2080 ti and and mine is at 1815 overclocked already on the box so it's <laughs> It's it's even bumped up even more. Uh, you see, I usually see over 2,000 megahertz on this card uh, at any given time. So keep that in mind. Uh, this game is not optimal uh, for VR. So, but very playable now. Now, resolution scale on this one. When you're using VR, uh, I would bump it down to 100%, 150. You can run 150%, but Keep in mind, uh, your VR pixel density, which is at the bottom of the screen, does not become present unless you have this resolution scale on 100%. I believe this is, the, is really more for screen uh, resolution, not your HMD resolution. So um, resolution scale, keep it at 100. And your VR pixel density, which you see grayed out now, it will come alive when you have your headset on. Um, you'll be able to adjust that setting there. I would go to 150%. 150% seems to be the sweet spot. You can 200, looks slightly better, uh, but it really isn't worth the, uh, uh, the juice isn't worth the squeeze, so to speak. Uh, yeah, it gets you a little bit better resolution. When you, you're stopped on the track, you can notice it a little bit, but when you're in motion, it's really hard to notice, except for your frame rate drops, you know, 25 FPS uh, pretty easily with the settings that I'm about to lay out for you. Um, and yes, I played with the settings on low and then maxing the uh, dens density up to 200%. That works good too. If you want to run everything on low and you got to have it at 200% just because that's the highest mark on there, go right ahead. Uh, these settings I'm going to give you, to me, look kind of the best uh, with my with my 40-something eyesight. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it's this is what I like. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. Let's let's get on with it. So resolution scale 100%. Like I said, view distance for VR. You can actually see quite far in VR. To my uh, uh, before, I thought you couldn't see that far, uh, but you can actually see pretty far. So like that back stretch, like I was talking about at Zolder. Uh, when I have it on low, you know I can see trees and stuff all the way at the end of, the end of that straight before you go into that little S, right? Uh, but when you put it in on Epic or High, which by the way, High and Epic look exactly the same in VR, um, as well as, as 4K, uh, more more foliage pops into in, into the screen. Not more resolution for the cars in front of you uh, per se, or really signage or anything else on the side of the track. I didn't see anything there. But I saw a little bit more trees pop up, which I don't care about the trees popping up, but. If you want more trees, <laughs> uh, run it higher. But uh, it's not; it's just not necessary. You can actually see all the cars in, in pretty good detail uh, on low, and it doesn't tax your GPU as hard. So I recommend low. Shadows, you can run on high, on, on high actually, with the 2080 Ti, which is great. However, I have a better solution for you, I feel. I run it at medium uh, with the 2080 Ti, and then I bump up uh, my post processing medium as well uh, what that does is it gives it a lot richer look to your interior and try it out for yourself to see what you like you may like a little bit better shading with the shadows but the shadows is is basically we go through the shadows here on low uh, when you got the say the Sun to your to your west and your car setting out on track uh, you don't see any shadow cast it from underneath your car to, to the east side of the car right to the right side of the car However, when you put it on high, or I'm sorry, uh, medium, immediately you see a shadow being casted out, and it's it's more defined. On high, it's even more defined, right? Uh, but that extra definition of the car shadow on the ground really doesn't, neither here nor there, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, however, what you will see in your interior car on high is the shadow's a little bit more defined. Now, if that's something you want, go for it. Uh, however, you're going to want to run your po post processing down on low if you're going to do that to try to keep you in above the 60 FPS range. Forget about 90 FPS. You're not going to run 90 FPS 
unless you're the only person on the track. Uh, and also, all this testing, I should have mentioned in the 4K version, but the 4K version was with uh, 12 cars on track. Higher the cars, more quantity, 33. Uh, way too taxing. Uh, you're not going to get out of 45 FPS, especially in VR, uh, with 33 people on the track. It just won't happen. Um, but shadows, like I said, medium works really good. Uh, it's going through it here. Uh, anti aliasing on high. Uh, works great. Temporal as a setting effects on high. Uh, you don't really notice the difference between effects on low or epic or, or high. It's just, uh, I'm sorry, you do notice a difference, but it's very marginal and it's not taxing on the GPU. So I just run it at high. Um, what I notice is, is uh, let's say if you're looking at your, I'm looking up like I'm looking at roll bars here, but you got your roll bars above you and say the Ferrari 488. And the little like uh, uh, metal ties that they have there to hold uh, things together, uh, you get a little bit better shading and, and uh, effects overlay on those surfaces, but they're on high compared to low. Uh, so it looks a little bit richer. Uh, so I do recommend high, and it's not taxing. So run it. Post processing, like I just mentioned, medium, low. Everything is duller looking across the screen. Um, the, the, it's brighter if you're to run at nighttime and put it on low. It doesn't seem as dark as it really is on the clock, unless you're running midnight. But let's say you're running at uh, 1700 hours. Uh, it doesn't look as dark as it really is. Uh, it looks lighter. Um, so effects, uh, or I'm sorry, post processing. I like medium. Looks richer looking. Your car looks richer. Uh, looking as far as the fabric on, on stitching on your car and stuff looks really good on medium. So I recommend medium. Like I said, if you want shadows on high, I would run post processing on low. And if, if you're okay with a little bit less shadows, um, run them on medium and your post processing on medium match them too. Uh, I think that's optimal. Again, sharpness doesn't matter. Uh, I just have it at 300. <laughs> uh, foliage, you know. To each your own. The more you have, the more trees you want to see, the less FPS you're going to have. Uh, so I run on low. Textures on high. Frame rate 100. Uh, you only need 90 uh, right now, unless you're getting some of the new headsets on the market, and some of them are like 120 hertz, uh, like the Steam. Uh, Was it the uh, yeah the Steam one? Uh, the uh, Mirror view distance on 70 meters. That's a good happy spot there as far as what you see behind you. However, I take mirror quality and just turn it off. VR mirrors are broke. They don't work very well uh, for ACC. It's very, very taxing on your GPU. Um, you're gonna have a hard time getting out of 50 FPS even with 12 cars on track rather. With, with the amount of cars that you're gonna wanna drive on track less cars more fps you will get doesn't even matter if they're in scene that's just they're out on track somewhere uh it makes a difference so mirror quality i leave off what you're going to want to use is the little indicators little red indicators that come up around you as cars come up to you use those to your advantage uh also uh acc has this new uh indicator that was a mod on a set of corsa uh that has a little a cone there which a little uh, green line I think is you or a white line is you and then as cars come in you see them come in on on the radar and it feels like a yellow cone uh, of them being how close they are that thing works remarkably well uh, so use that to your advantage plus you know get your attention with the little red markers that come up around you leave those two on you really don't need mirrors I like mirrors but uh, you don't have to have them on in this particular game um, or any game for that matter Race is in front of you, it's not behind you, okay? It's up to the driver behind you to pass cleanly. Uh, however, you know, if you are stopping in a corner and stuff and you don't know that that car is there, a uh, mirror could be very helpful. Although I find that there's so many blind spots in these particular cars uh, that I still sometimes get hit from the uh, opponents uh, because I cut in front of them not realizing they're there. So I use a radar actually. Their radar works really good to where I can comfortably dive into that corner and, and and even in vr and not 
and know that I'm not going to uh, have their front end clip me if they decide not to stop, right? So anyway, oh, I went back to the screen there. Uh, so yeah, mirror quality, I'll leave it off. Mirror resolution, obviously if you did run mirrors, if you gotta have mirrors, uh, you know, run them at 70 meters. Uh, mirror resolution on low, if you gotta have something going on, I understand. I do like mirrors as well, but I would run it on low. Uh, and, and just live with it. So, uh, opponent visibility, all motion blur disabled, block to horizon, that's 50%. That's just really just explain that in VR. Uh, when I'm when I'm my motion rig is going up over up in a hill and then back down a hill, uh, I have it horizon moving, so it feels like I'm going up a hill and back down a hill. Uh, 100% was too much. It didn't keep up with the rate that my motion rig was going, just based on the settings I like to use. So anyway, I digress. Uh, saturation 100, advanced sh sharpen filter enabled. Materials quality does make a difference. It does look better on high. Uh, medium is the lowest setting. If you didn't know this existed, you'd probably be just as happy with medium. Uh, however, it doesn't affect your frame rate at all in VR. Uh, temporal upscaling, enable, fog. I hadn't raced, well actually I have raced in fog at night, uh, but I left it enabled. Uh, I didn't try it out with it disabled if it uh, increased my FPS, so too much to test I guess, but bloom, uh didn't make a difference i don't even tell it i can't even tell a difference so i just leave it on high uh you could certainly leave it on off i left it on off it didn't affect my frame rate at all on off uh maybe it's something that's going to come later on with the final release and it'll probably make an impact then usually bloom does have an impact on fps but doesn't in this case right now uh foilage uh length of distance like i said before in the 4k it's the same thing how much of the shadowing of, of the environment onto the track is going across there. Very low for VR uh, is what you want to have the setting. Camera dirt, don't even notice anything there. All right, so that's all the settings for uh, v, for 4K, v, 4K resolution as well as VR. I'm gonna run some videos behind it here so you can just see some on track with a little counter in the bottom right of the screen. Pay attention to that. You will see FPS is dropping the 45 usually at the start of the race on some of them, and then they quickly go on up. Now, if you are on hot lapping yourself, in VR, you can actually max everything out. That is kind of nice, and you'll run 90 FPS all day long for the 28 ATI. Uh, but once you start adding in cars, your FPS starts dropping. So, if you're someone that likes to run six cars uh, for your competition, then fine. You know, that's actually, you know, a lot of races are just with the top three to four people anyway and that's where your best racing is so it makes sense that you don't have to have all this lap traffic behind you and render them if you really want to race in amongst you people anyways uh, especially if you set their level at your current ability and uh, you have a really good race going on there so that's why i picked 12 as a happy medium for how many cars i have it on track 10 knocks up the fps another three to five fps is what i noticed on average uh, but uh, yeah, less less cars you can deal with, more FPS. Uh, but anyway, either way, this actually this game is very playable at 60 FPS. Obviously, awesome at 90 FPS, but it's marginally better at, at 90 FPS. Uh, I think at 60, as long as you're hitting 60 FPS in that range, and I'm seeing 60 to 80 usually is what I'm seeing. Uh, it's very playable. If you weren't paying attention to your FPS counter. It wouldn't break the immersion, what I'm getting at. So, yeah, good stuff. So, check out the rest of the video. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Tell all your friends. Show your mother. Show your dad. Show your cousins. Show your sisters. <laughs> Anybody. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy this. Hope this is helpful. We'll check you next time out on the track. I'm out.